Hi, thank you for joining me in the session. I hope you have a good conference today. I'm Chris Wu, and this is my talk today about adopt automation workflow in higher ed. To ensure the best quality and connection, this talk is pre-recorded, and I will take the question in live at the end of the talk. Today, I'm joining from Okinawa, Japan. I'm a full-stack Drupal developer have worked with Drupal for 12 years since Drupal 6. I was Taiwan Drupal user group leader and love to contribute to open source and share experience about Drupal. I'll mention some product and service today in this talk that we are using in the university. However, I, I must disclaim the all oh, graduate university does not endorse them in this talk. Okay, let's start from our migration from two years ago. We migrated to Cloud Web Ops platform because first, our organization plan has been changed. IT want our team to maintain our own service and internal external facing websites. They will focus on the infra and the research related services. We are a small team with only four members, including two uh, multimedia editors, one content editor to support the user and the basic size building. And I'm a full stack developer, the only one. So we need to focus on creating features and products for our users and reduce the time spending on DevOps and maintenance. At the end, we move to web ops platform, which is Pantheon. We migrate six sites in total. Two of them were upgraded and rebuilt with Drupal 8. After migration, this is the basic workflow of all websites without automation. There is no local dev site needed. We just need to spin up multi dev to do development. I began to think about implement automation workflow into the organization for some reasons. Allow me to give you some background of our university. OIST is a unique university in Japan. It is national funded directly by the Japanese cabinet office. We offer only PhD education with cross field research and education. Although it is in Japan, English is the operating language, including all instructions. We have 40% international members in OIST. Every year we fly the excellent faculty and students from the world. Because of the uniqueness and its size, things are moving quite active and we have to optimize our workflow. The main three points to go automation workflow include, first, capacity. As I mentioned before, we are a small team and we have very limited capacity and resources. I met Drupaler on NGO NPO Buff at the DrupalCon Global earlier this year. It's common that one developer to handle the website in NGO. And another reason, sometimes the budget could be restricted due to various situations like COVID-19. Administrative divisions are usually on the edge to be cut. Second, stability. Because of the capacity, it is costly to have a dedicated QA person and difficult to review the codes that often. Especially how can I review my own code with myself? We have a Drupal 7 size with more than 400 organic groups of unit, division, and student clubs. Stable deployment workflow without risk is essential to the higher education organization. And the last, uncertainty. Higher ed is a place that a lot of uh, innovation, creative ideas happens every day. When there is a journal paper published on nature science, it draws a lot of attention and creates a huge spike of traffic to our website. On the other hand, OIST in Okinawa has an important duty to bring the education to the local society and sometimes share the resource with them. Because of COVID-19, we have to turn community events online because lots of members don't know Japanese, cannot read the news. We create a website to provide them the situation and information of the travel and migration situation in the first place, which is always in Japanese. 
So we need to deal with the uncertainties. We need the automation workflow to make sure the stability of every deployment. Last year, we started two website project, and both of them are built with Drupal 8 and the automation workflow. There are three main goals we wanted to involve when we create a workflow. First, to be able to adopt our agile management. We want the workflow to match the way we manage the task in agile with Jira Scrum Board. It enables us to work parallel. Each issue requires different input from our team. For me, I often jump between a couple issues and resolve one after another and push, the, push to the multi-dev side. Each issue may require various time to review or discuss before it could be deployed to the live site. With the agile management, all the team members can know the overall status and take on the task. For example, if I finish a prototype of a new content type, the content editor will know which multi-dev to test and then follow up with the client later. So this leads to the next goal able to review the code change easily. We want it to be easy to review code changes because we are using Jira for project and ticket management. With Pentium, it is not possible to reference a commit easily in Jira. Although they provide a quick server to send a comment to Jira, it is not very useful. With GitHub or Bitbucket, we can easily link the commit to the issue by mentioning the issue key. Git repo on Pantheon is too basic. We couldn't even see the commit when it is a merge commit. It is recommended to use at least a Git client to look up for Git history. We also wanted to review the code together and use the pull request feature on the GitHub before we merge to master. The only way is to host your code on a better Git server or cloud service. And the last goal of the automation workflow, of course, to be able to run the task and deploy automatically. The auto task must include PHP code sender check, unit test, visual regression test, and also end-to-end -end test. So let's cast some magic and then let's run it automatically. In our automation workflow, it includes these tools and services. GitHub, CircleCI, and Lando are the key to the workflow. It is also possible to replace them with service you prefer or in the current workflow. With Terminus, the Pentium CLI tool, it has an integrated build tool to start a project. It allows users to choose GitHub or Bitbucket to pair with a CircleCI or use Git GitLab for both server and CI runner. The Terminus build tool doesn't include the local dev site. I integrate Lando into the project so that I can build the, the site locally with a Docker container. Lando is compatible with various server stack, including LAMP or CMS, including Drupal, Joomla, WordPress, as well as the web apps platform such as Pentium, Platform SH, and Lagoon with MSD. Once I integrate the Lando for local dev, I realize I have two upstream and it becomes a very difficult challenge to me. Mainly, there was a lot of conflict back and forth. I was pulling my hair and it took me some time to pave the way and make sure it runs smooth. Initially, I stick with the multi dev site that I create to match the ticket number in Jira and trigger an automatic pushback commit to GitHub. This setup allows us to use multi dev for quick feature review without going through CI. Once satisfied, we can create a pull request and let the workflow run an integrate test. However, when we started to pull the code from the Pentium repository, it caused lots of conflict. I started to track down the issue to see why this happened. So long story short, it is because Pentium doesn't support running Composer yet. In the Terminus build tool, there is a workflow chart from GitHub via CircleCI and then to the Pentium. Lando is not included for the local dev. It implies the developer should commit to the Git server and it doesn't reveal the possible conflict if user try to sync the code 
with Pensiang git repo. If we look up the git ignore file, you will understand why it caused this conflict. Because Pantheon cannot run Composer, therefore it needs the vendor, core, contribute module, and themes in the git commit. But they are designed not to commit to GitHub repo. We can find that there is a tricky line in the git ignore file, the cut line. Before the line, it ignore those files will be downloaded by Composer. After the CI automation, those lines are deleted in order to use Git to commit and deploy the code and all the, the module vendors to Pentium. This difference results in the difficulty situation and conflict local dev. So in the end, we have to keep the local code sync with GitHub when we need the multi dev side to review the issue with client, we use SFTP only. Because Lando pool can download code, file, and the database together, we must be careful when pulling the data without code from Pentium. There is also a drawback that we cannot use Lando switch command to switch the multi dev because it involves the git branch checkout in the process. Because the two repos have too many uh, difference, so they cannot get well together. However, there is a, a good news right now. So Composer will be able to run on Pantheon after push the Composer lock to the server. It is still in beta, but if it works well, we will be able to work with single upstream again. So this is our journey to adopt the automation workflow in our organization. Usually, when the web team is small, people don't think about the automation so often. This is a good time to do some magic, so I believe it is a very good investment in the organization. This is Chris, so thank you for your listening today. I will take some questions now. Cool, and, uh, and we have Chris. Hello. And yeah. <laughs> cool. So, how did we go with the polls? Let me see. Yeah, it looks like only a few uh, company has less than five and. I'm surprised in that I'm maybe I'm the the one percent or five percent with my with only me in the team. Yeah, I maybe maybe people can um can discuss it in the forum as well. But um, like even from our side, like we while we would register as you know larger than X, like those people are then sliced up. They don't all work on the same site. So I, I think it like in my experience, it's pretty common to have, you know, like a small team working on a site like yourself. And it's very interesting. Like I'm like very interesting how you've had to work around these problems, especially the composer one, which seems to be pretty common with. Cloud yeah, hosting. I'm already using composer for a while and I was using the local app, which is easily, but, uh, I do have the problem when I try to uh, submit to uh, Pantheon with the CI workflow. Yeah, so I I saw Scott in the in the in the chat saying yeah the the integrated composer will be soon available with Pantheon. So I'm really looking forward to it. There is still uh, some some issues I'm I'm trying to work with them to resolve to make sure the the workflow goes smooth after it, it's released. So I see there is also a question about are are many organization in Japan using Drupal and Pantheon? Uh, for Pantheon, I know I I don't know the the stats. Maybe maybe Scott can help. But uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, Drupal uh, Drupal sites running uh, and also company build the Drupal sites. Uh, this morning there was also another uh, Japanese company who do Drupal, which is uh, Anai. And a couple, couple companies I know in Japan as well. 
Uh, what what led you to choosing Pantheon? No. Uh, yeah, I, I described before because it was a little bit, uh, the situation has been decided before I joined to the uh, graduate uni university and the IT wanted us to uh, move our website, the, the publicly facing and internal facing website to our own service and we have to maintain it by ourselves. So we need uh, integrated uh, web apps platform instead of uh, mixed uh, stacks using AWS, uh, several services together. Otherwise, I couldn't manage them and keep uh, manage the, those services and also keep uh, building features. So uh, that's why we we decided to move. Yeah, I I really admire how you've like seeing that graph and just seeing how I mean it, it looks very simple and it's never easy to to glue it all together like that. But you've um, but yeah, you've really like I I think you've come up with a really really good solution. Yeah, because we all we have more and more sites uh, to be expected to be built uh, soon, and then I realized I couldn't yeah manually manage them. Uh, one by one, although we have the the professional services to help us to update the the core, but still uh, have a, a CI/CD workflow with tests is definitely a, a good uh, benefit. Looks like a bit of a bit of chat in the group. Um, we've got we've got a minute minute and a half left. Uh, uh, we we did have one other whole item there around workflow that's that's a good number <laughs> yeah i oh, and then plan to do it within the next six months so. that's great um I, I i just think it's really good to hear your perspective on this and to to have Wait, Chris is the best. Get to know him. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Michael is the, the, the manager of our team. He's a really gotcha. good uh, good person and to work with. Oh, cool. Hmm. I was going to say, you must know Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay, uh, well, we got 30 seconds left. Is there anything you want to, like, um, I uh any way for folks to follow you on twitter or like social media or oh yeah that is uh twitter and uh, you can cut me oh. with the email <laughs> yeah <laughs> take screenshots people <laughs> cool on that note thanks thanks chris uh amazing production quality and uh yeah look forward to catching up with you yeah, thank you to you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>